Hey everybody, it's Keith again. I'm cooking again. Sorry, it's been a little bit of a hiatus. Uh, I've just been kind of busy with my job, uh, taking a lot of call at the hospital. So I haven't been available um, to record. I've just been cooking fast and getting it done to make sure that I don't get, uh, get caught up making a video while my phone rings getting called in. So I'm back again. I promised you all I would make scallops for you so you can watch it. This is gonna be pretty short video. Uh, scallops don't take long to cook and the vegetables that I'm cooking with them are not going to take long either. So uh, let me go ahead and get started and show you my ingredients. Nope. Okay. All right. I took a picture of myself. So um, we got scallops here. Let me just do that. About seven scallops. It's about eight ounces. Uh, some spinach. Those are cherry uh, cocktail tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. They look the same leeks i'm sorry leeks right there and then we got salt pepper uh bench garlic and i'm gonna put a little bit of cocktail sauce on top of the scallops so let me uh get myself together and get going cooking okay so my pan's heating up um i got it heating up i've had it heated up for a couple minutes here um this is where i'm gonna start putting my vegetables in i found some mushrooms uh i'm gonna use these uh, just to get rid of them. These are baby portobello mushrooms. So I'm going to move my scallops over here to the side. And I'm not going to cook those yet. And some oil in this pan. And get these leeks going. A little bit more oil. The olive oil adds to the flavor. This is I only use extra virgin olive oil. This will burn if you get it too hot. So just be careful about that. And I'm going to start heating up my scallop pan because I don't want it to be hot just yet. I'm going to start cooking these vegetables first. We're going to oil them down there so it coats the bottom of the pan really good. I'll throw these leeks in here. So leeks are from the onion family. If you didn't know, they look like giant green onions. Uh, most of the leek you don't eat, that big fibrous green part, you don't eat that. I don't know anybody who does eat that, but I wouldn't recommend that you eat it. Um, you would, it would take a long time to chew it. I don't think it would kill you, but you wouldn't want to eat it. Um, kind of fibrous. Any of y'all eat kale, you know, the, the middle part of the kale, not the leaf part, but the stalk part, it's very fibrous. Don't eat that. Um, I mean, like I said, you can try to eat it, but it wouldn't be a good idea. So got those leaves going. Again, I did start the, the heat on my pan over there. I'm gonna cut these tomatoes up like this in quarters. These are big. If they were the small grape tomatoes, I'd just cut them in half, but these are really big um, for what I'm doing. Uh, if they're really, really small like grape tomatoes, I think I just said that. <laughs> I would sometimes leave them whole, but um, if you do leave grape tomatoes whole, when you bite them to them, they kind of burst in your mouth. And if they're really hot, you wouldn't really like that. But I cut these in half because I'm not, they're not going to go, they're going to go in at the dead last. Okay. So these are baby portobello mushrooms. So they're meatier and thicker, so they take a little bit longer to cook. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these into kind of thick slices. And, and then this one I'm just going to cut in quarters. Or, yeah, I'm cutting in quarters. And throw those in there. Get those going because they take a little bit longer to cook. Yeah, toss that a little bit. In my pan. Get my garlic. I cooked this thing just last night. I took a picture of it. I put it on Facebook. You might have seen it. Uh, I put sausage in it actually last night. I'm not putting sausage in today. I can only have so much meat per meal, so I'm only gonna use scallops this time. That garlic smell is awesome. Oh, I am gonna put some balsamic vinegar in here too. I forgot about that. But not till after I put my spinach in. It's a balsamic vinegar. Get 
The heat should be about medium, a little bit more than medium. Okay. Now, you know, spinach wilt, so I'm going to put a lot, I'm going to put all of this spinach in here. It looks like a lot, but it's going to shrink considerably. That's good. I'm going out of town tomorrow, so now this won't be here rotting when I get back. Alright. So let that sit there for a little bit. That spinach will start to wilt. You can stir it. And I'm going to toss it a couple of times. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead here while this is doing that. I'm go over here and put my oil in my pan for my scallops. And I don't season the scallops before I cook them. Okay, if you want to season them, do it after. Scallops cook really fast. The seasoning will just kind of stick to the pan. And I use cracked stuff so it kind of sticks to the um, scallops more. It'll be crunchier than you probably want to be. The, the salt, the grind, the, the salt grinder and the pepper that I use. But if you know, if you have ground, already ground salt, it won't be so bad. And pepper it won't be so bad. So there's my tomatoes. A little bit of balsamic. Probably about a tape, teaspoon maybe. Put my oil in my pan for my scallops. Put that around, put the bottom of that pan. This is just about done. Put that right there. I'm going to put some salt in here. That's pink salt and then my pepper grinder. And this will still be hot. Turn that heat off. And my scallops are done. Okay. So I think my scallop pan is ready. Got my scallops here. I just put them on the flat side. These are going to cook really fast. Probably about a minute and a half on each side. You just want to get a nice little brown on them. So when you're turning these scallops, use a spoon, okay? Because uh, if you use tongs or spatula, you might eat them up because they're very delicate. Just kind of grab them with one with a spoon, like that. And that golden, that little golden brown color, it's almost the color of toasted white bread. That's what you want. Ow. Watch out for that popping root. So that color right there. Y'all can see that color. That's the color you want in your scallops, okay? And they're almost done. So I've turned the heat off on my scallops. A little plate. Finish tomato, mushroom, leek, and garlic mixture here. Kind of like a warm spinach salad, sauteed spinach with tomatoes, garlic, leeks, salt and pepper, and some baby portobello mushrooms. You don't have to put the mushrooms in there. I love mushrooms. I know some of my people, like my friend Joseph, does not like mushrooms. But I do. So these scallops are ready to go. Get them out there heat and I'm going to take them out with the spoon. If you put them on a plate like they do on Hell's Kitchen and some other places, you can just uh, are by themselves and then they garnish them after and you can do it that way. And just take the pan and just pop them on a the plate like that. But I'm not doing it that way because I don't want these scallops to mess up my crowning achievement there in the middle with these vegetables. And just play them like that. You don't have to do them in a circle like that. I just do it for presentation. I like the way it looks. Okay. Oh, y'all couldn't even see that. So, I plated those scallops like that. Um, put the, the spinach mixture in the middle and put the scallops around. You don't have to put them in a circle like that if you don't want to. Um, 
you could just I just do it for presentation purposes. So that's it. Pansier scallops with a vegetable medley of sauteed spinach, tomatoes, portobello mushrooms, leeks with some minced garlic, seasoned with salt and pepper. Hope you enjoy. Please write. Excuse me, please rate, subscribe, and share this with your friends on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Happy eating and cooking.